Yes, job well done. International observers are heading home happy enough. With a quarter of the votes counted, the ruling party's candidate is in the lead and well over the 50% mark. If it stays like this, no runoff, and the head of the African Union's mission has endorsed the process. The AU EOM notes that the conduct of the 2014 presidential, parliamentary, and provincial assembly elections has up to this point provided an opportunity for the Mozambican electorate to freely express their will at the ballot. Limited polling beforehand showed a tight race between the ruling party and its old foe, Renamo. But both opposition parties are rejecting the legitimacy of this poll. We will not accept this election result. There is no political reason for us to accept it, even with a Renamo victory, because we wouldn't want a victory marred by irregularities. Southern African monitors are critical of that line. They're already describing the ballot as free and fair, but say if Renamo has complaints, it should head to the courts. The Mozambican electoral law provides very clear legal processes and steps that can be followed by anyone that has a dispute in this electoral process. And so we would encourage anyone, any political party, any person who feels that they have such a dispute to follow those processes. There have been numerous reports of irregularities, but they're hard to verify. Teams like this visit hundreds of polling stations, but in a country with thousands. And their preliminary findings seem to be not necessarily that there was no foul play, but that they didn't see any. Now, Mozambicans will be reflecting on their unstable past this weekend. Preparations are underway here to commemorate the death of their legendary president, Samora Michelle, in mysterious circumstances nearly 30 years ago. Now, of course, the country has come a long way since then, too far perhaps to ever turn back. But a few recent reminders of those times means there's very little appetite here for further arguments. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Maputo, Mozambique.